My name is Chris Kiefer. I'm a Toronto-based emergency physician, and I'm campaigning to save the Pickering Nuclear Generating Station. This may seem like a strange angle to be taking as a doctor, as I'm sure you've heard of physicians around the world who are adamantly opposed to nuclear energy. Let me make my case. I come from the Canadian province of Ontario, where we have some of the lowest carbon electricity in the world. We've been able to achieve this milestone through the use of nuclear energy, which provides about 65% of our electricity. It wasn't always this way. Ontario used to have 25% of its electricity sourced from coal. This was an environmental and health catastrophe. In the early 2000s, through the work of tireless activists, we were able to motivate the government to get coal off of the grid. This was called the greatest greenhouse gas emissions reduction in North America by the Ontario Power Authority. What many people don't know is that nuclear energy provided the power we needed to fill in the gap. As a result, the Ontario Medical Association and Toronto Public Health have estimated that a thousand lives a year have been saved through improvements in air quality and tens of thousands of hospitalizations have been avoided. For me, as an emergency physician, it really can't get clearer than that in terms of the health benefits. I'm also the father of a two-year-old, and I'm very concerned when I look into the future and I contemplate a world where global warming is going to lead to potentially two, three, or four degree warming over the next century. In his lifetime, he may face major, major impacts as a result of climate change. In Ontario, we are climate leaders. We are doing what the IPCC has called for. We have some of the cleanest electricity in the world. That's all about to change as we are slated to see Pickering Nuclear Generating Station shut down in 2024, 2025. We can't let this happen. Pickering was built in the late 1970s instead of a coal plant and throughout its life has displaced 850 million tons of CO2. The output of this nuclear plant which provides enough power for the electricity needs of the largest city in the country where I live, Toronto, is about to be replaced by dirty natural gas. They may call it natural, but it's methane. It's polluting and it contributes a significant amount of greenhouse gas emissions. We can't let this happen. We can't go from being climate leaders to climate laggards, and we can't see our air quality worsen again. So for the climate, for clean air, and for health. I am campaigning to save and refurbish Pickering. Join us. We will stand up for nuclear on September 26th at a demonstration to call for the government to make the necessary investments to keep Pickering online, to refurbish it, and to produce ultra low emissions, non-air polluting electricity well into the future, into the 2060s.